Few are brave enough to stand up to a storm like this. But with winds of more than 100 kilometers an hour sending waves crashing dramatically over the seawall, they may get some spectacular pictures. In certain areas, waves are reported to be 20 meters in height. This is Wenling City in Zhejiang province, just one area where the authorities have issued the highest possible alert. The local Communist Party chief has called it a matter of life and death. Just along the coast, even before Typhoon Fito makes landfall, the flood water is racing inland. Cars have been trapped, and while some were wrestled to safety, at least one had to be abandoned to the elements. The authorities in Zhejiang province say about 300,000 people have been ordered to leave coastal areas. The torrential weather has brought widespread travel chaos. State media says bullet trains have been suspended on routes running between many major cities, including Beijing and Shanghai. Flights have also been cancelled. It hasn't helped that this is the end of the national holiday known as Golden Week, a time when tens of millions travel across the country. This storm has caused more than 65,000 boats to be called back to shore. And in southeastern Fujian province, more than 120,000 people have been evacuated, according to state media. Typhoon Fito has come late in the season, but nonetheless brings yet more storm surges and torrential rain, as well as the threat of landslides. Jonathan Josephs, BBC News.